For the second weekend in a row, live music is taking over Clackamas County Fairgrounds. Yeah, acts from all across the country are going to be performing at the Wild Hair Music Festival in Canby. And joining us live to share the excitement about this big event's return, organizer Jason Fellman. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Likewise. Likewise. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, so, okay, we just came off of a, a different uh, hair music festival uh -huh. of a different nature. Uh, <laughs> so, we're going to switch gears here. What is the Wild Hair Music Festival? Yeah, very different than Hair Fest, which yes. is all tribute bands. <laughs> Wild Hair Music Festival uh, features all original artists from uh, across the country <clears throat> uh, in, in uh, what we call the roots categories, ranging from country, Americana, uh, Southern rock and blues. And uh, our headliners this year are super exciting. On Friday night, we have Zach Bryan, who is arguably one of the hottest rising stars in the genre. Um, the Friday night single day tickets are actually sold out. Um, and then Saturday night, we have Grammy-nominated Marcus King. Uh, he was nominated in 2020 for his Americana album. Just a crazy good uh, singer, songwriter, and guitar player, next level. And of course, Morgan Wade on Friday night, who uh, was Rolling Stone Magazine's 2020 country album, or 2022, uh, 21 country album of the year, and Lucero um, uh, on uh, Saturday. So it's just a, a really packed lineup full of, of really killer bands. Oh, that is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you don't know Zach Bryan's name yet, you've definitely heard his music. Something in the Orange is his song that is like everywhere right now. Gotcha. It topped the charts uh, like early last month, and it's just been one of the songs of the summer, I think. So it, it's going to be a packed house for him Friday night for sure. Let's talk a little bit about the festival in general, though. It's out at the, the Clackamas County Fairgrounds. So uh, in addition to the live music, what can you expect? Well, it, you know, it's a, actually follows a very similar format uh, from the previous weekend in terms of being a complete uh, weekend experience. So in addition to the music, which actually starts at 6 p.m. on Friday, it goes all the way through 1 a.m. after party on Friday, starts up with the breakfast set uh, on uh, the brunch set at 9 a.m. with songwriters in the round, some really great regional songwriters in the uh, and uh, Trent Beaver and Mercedes Carroll and Olivia Harms, fantastic, kicking off the day. And then we had the full uh, day stage programming there on the third stage in the Sheedy Grove, we call it, nice tree-lined area. Um, and then a full day of music again in the main venue on Saturday going through 1 a.m. again after party. So it's packed, overnight camping, RVs, awesome food vendors. Um, and just again, a complete weekend experience out there at the Clackamas County Fairgrounds. Yeah, it's going to be a, a lot of fun back, back to back weekends out there. Uh, speaking of the venue, you know, some things we went over last week uh, as well, just kind of the logistics. What, what do you need? Uh, what do you need to know before going into the festival? Any, any logistical things, where to find tickets, tents that people need to know about? Yep. Well, first of all, wildhairmusicfest.com is the place where you want to go to for all things. And it, with every festival, there are, you know, all sorts of different types of things you need to consider, you know, from everything from what should I bring to what kind of bags are allowed to when does the box office open. And so um, we definitely uh, implore everyone to go to the website. And we also are telling folks to do not wait to buy tickets until the day of show. Um, you know, Friday night single day passes are sold out. Um, we are getting very low on two day passes and two day VIP passes. And we also have Saturday only tickets available. So um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is that unlike our previous festival, this one is all ages. Mm -hmm. So you can actually bring the family for this one. So that's an important distinction. Awesome. And it was 21 and older, the, the last one for, for oh, okay. Hair Fest. So, yeah, so the, yeah. the Tribute Band Festival was sort of the adult summer camp. You know, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, whereas uh, this one is um, is a, a more of a family affair and, and uh, a little bit of for, something for everybody. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, mm -hmm. what's it been like to bring back uh, some big events like this after a couple years of the pandemic? This has to feel good. It's really cool. And, of course, as we saw in the last segment, the weather has cooperated uh, and it continues to cooperate for the weekend ahead as the temperatures start to cool down. So... I think that, you know, with everything that's going on and even with sort of some of what's going on currently, um, you know, with COVID and all that, having these outdoor events are really fantastic for people to be able to get out and start to sort of get back to what they were used to doing pre-pandemic um, in an area where they feel more comfortable doing so. So I think that's why we're seeing so much traction with events this summer across the board is because people are like, ah, oh, finally, we can get out and do this stuff again. And so oh, for sure. it really feels good. And the artists are bringing their A game, you know, they've, they've been saving it up and they're kind of, you know, going full steam ahead with that. It's mm -hmm. a good point. You do feel that on both sides of the performance, because both the fan and performers, the you know, they, they, everybody too. is equally excited to be there for, for their own reasons yeah. you know, coming out of the pandemic. Yeah. So 
adds great. Yeah, stuff. and we're seeing some fan. Really, the performances that are coming out of this sort of pre-pandemic era reflect that energy. So I think people are going to be pretty stoked on site for this one. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Jason Feldman, organizer of the Wild Hair Music Festival. Again, great to see you and uh, have fun this weekend. Thanks, you guys. Really appreciate it. Have a great one. Thanks, hey, you too. too. And again, the festival is happening this Friday and Saturday. That's at the Clackamas County Fairgrounds in Canby. That website, which has all of those, uh, those FAQ, you know, those frequently asked questions uh -huh. that you may need, wildhairmusicfest.com. You can also snag your tickets there as well. Awesome.